Good evening, oh. Fräulein Schneider. Oh, Herr Schultz, such a surprise. Uh, are you occupied? No, no, free as a bird. Please forgive my appearance. Oh, it is most becoming. Thank you. I have uh, brought you a little something from the shop. Another little something? With my compliments. But what can it be? It's so big. Pears? No, last Wednesday you brought me pears. And such pears. Apples, possibly? No, no, Friday was apples. Yeah, yeah, Friday was apples. So I cannot guess. Then look. Oh, Herr Schultz, can I believe what I see? But this is too much to accept, so rare, so costly, so luxurious. If you brought me diamonds, if you brought me pearls, if you brought me roses like some other gents might bring to other girls, it couldn't please me more than the gift I see. A pineapple If in your emotion you begin to stay, then to get some air or grab the chair to keep from fainting dead away, it couldn't please me more than to see you cling to the pineapple. Breezes blow. Ah, it's California. Even so, how am I to thank you? Kindly let it pass. Oh, would you like a slice? That might be nice, but frankly, it would give me gas. Oh, then we shall leave it here. Not to eat, but see. A pineapple from me, from me. Ah, ah. But you must not bring me any more pineapples, you hear? It is not proper. It is a gift a gentleman would bring his young lady love. It makes me flush. But there is no one. No one in all of Berlin who was more deserving. If I could, I would fill your entire room with pineapples. A pineapple for you. From you. Ah, ah. I think I will lie down a few moments. My head is spinning. Good evening, Fräulein Schneider. Good evening, Herr Schultz. I am overwhelmed. I wonder why they're not using that Chinese girl. Do I look all right? Yes, you look fine. You feel so frumpy. God, no. You look beautiful. My hair isn't right, is it? I saw you looking at it in the car. I wasn't looking at it. What were you looking at then? The road, I suppose. I can always tell when you hate what I'm wearing. I love that dress. I always have. This is the first time I've worn it. What I meant is that I've always admired your taste. It's so hard to please you sometimes. What did I say? It's what you don't say that really drives me crazy. What I don't say? How can it drive you crazy if I don't say it? No, it's the looks you give me. I wasn't giving you any looks. But you look at me all the time. Because you're always asking me to look at you. Well, it would be nice if I didn't have to ask you. Now it is. It would be nice. It would be nice if you need me to look or to make it unnecessary to ask. I can't ever get any support from you. You've got all the time in the world for everything and everyone else, and I've got to draw blood to get you to pay attention to me when I walk in a room. We've walked in the room together. It's already done. 
Cassie, please don't start. We're 45 minutes late as it is. I don't want to spoil the night for Charlie and Myra. We're 45 minutes late because you scowled at every dress I tried on. I didn't scowl, I smiled. You always think my smile is like a scowl. My grin looks like a frown, and my frown looks like a yawn. Don't sneer at me. It was a sneer, it was a pee. God, this conversation is so banal. I can't believe any of the things you were saying. They sound like some damn TV couple. Oh, oh. So now we're getting into language, aren't we? No, Mr. Perfect. I will not get into any language with you. I don't want to risk a scowl, a frown, a yawn, a peeve, or a sneer. God forbid I should show a drop of human imperfection. I'd wake up the next morning with the divorce papers in my hands. What is this thing lately with divorce? I don't know what's gotten into you lately. I'm afraid to look at you sometimes because I'm afraid of thinking I don't like the way I'm looking at you. I don't know what the hell you want from me, Glenn. I really don't. I don't want anything! What I mean is <laughs> that I would like it to be the way we were before we got to be the way we are. <laughs> God, you suffocate me sometimes. <laughs> I want to go home. I don't care, I'm so proud that Ruby starts, Saturn starts. Say goodbye. Your, your face. It's nothing. A little accident. Where are you going? I've taken up a room the other side of Nolendorf Platz. I figure it will be easier for her. You are leaving also? You and Fraulein Bowles? We're going home. To America. America. Often I thought of going there. But it will pass, I promise you. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. Because I understand the Germans, and after all, what am I? A German. Fraulein Sally, I've come to say goodbye. Herr Schultz. Oh, good fortune. <coughs> A little farewell gift. 
Italian oranges. Delicious. I wish you mazel. Mazel. That is all we need. Thank <laughs> you.